Following the recent updates, Luminar Neo now has over 320 sliders and controllers. While that gives you great level of photo editing possibilities, I'm sure you agree with me that it's a lot to manage. Today, I want to introduce you to that one person that is responsible for us to know how to use and manage all of these controllers. I'm sure you already know the one person is the head of education for Skylum and Luminar Neo, Robert Vanelli. Vanelli is a great photography educator and also an incredible portrait photographer. Recently, I was able to meet him and travel with him in Scotland and I asked him multiple interesting questions. The first question, of course, was what is his favorite Luminar Neo tool? All right, so my favorite extension in Luminar Neo is simple, the dramatic tool. Now, the reason for that is it's my tool. Um, for years, since 2014, I created what's called the sports grip look. And it used to take me six to 10 minutes per person to do this grip look. And you couldn't match process it. So imagine doing 72 athletes to give them that really cool grip look. And the grip look is also known as the Nike, the Nike look because Nike, Nike embraced it within that one slider. I can control that grit look to give that person structure, detail, and just the intensity that we're looking for. And within that slider, I can also desaturate. And that was the key secret to my grit look, desaturation. So I desaturated the image slightly. And then from there, brought all that texture out. And the cool thing about our, our product, thank God they did this for me, is it doesn't adjust the skin and give it like, like in Lightroom, we use clarity. The problem with that was it changed the color and it also made the skin so rough that if there was any blemish whatsoever on that skin, then the person had this huge black spots with uh, that dramatic tool. I'll never forget when they showed it to me. But Elliot, what do you think of this tool? I did one slider. My cowboy image was the image I used. And I said, this is my sports grit look. I could do my grit look in less than five seconds and batch process an entire image overall. So try the dramatic tool and again, adjust the brightness and adjust the saturation. And you'll see why I love that tool so much. So now we know what is Vanelli's favorite tool. But with that many tools available in Luminar Neo, have you ever wondered what is the most underrated tools out there? Well, let's ask what Vanelli thinks. I right, show the most underrated tool in Luminar, in my opinion, easily Accent AI. That one simple tool automatically improves color, detail, tone, and depth of an image. So imagine um, the developed raw tool. Those characteristics in developed raw are for photographers that really want complete control over their images. If you need a quick solution, Accent AI is definitely the tool. Many photographers mention the develop tool as the first tool you should use when you're editing your images in Luminar Neo. But maybe there is a twist to it. Well, let's hear from Vanelli and see what is his first tool he used when he developed his images. So what are the first tool you should use to start your edit? That's kind of a trick question because my suggestion is the presets. Presets are a list of tools. So imagine this, for this photo, uses AI technology. And what it does is it analyzes the image and then it figures out what tools and combinations will make this image look absolutely amazing. But what's really cool about this tool is when you click on a preset and you love what you see, well then head over to edits and now you can actually see how they put those tools together, the combinations, and the settings. So that one simple technique is self-learning. So if you really love the way somebody does uh, a look with their presets, add it to yours, check it out, then make tweaks to it to your liking, and then save it as your own preset. Luminar Neo is powerful photo editing application. 
However, what level of photography skills is it designed for? Well, let's ask Vanilli about that. So what type of photographers is Luminar Neo targeted for? It's a powerful uh, software program that professionals will use, but is geared towards the photo enthusiast and the person who just loves taking photos. So if you're a photo enthusiast, you love taking photos with your smartphone, or you just like going out taking weekend shots of your family or your friends, or you just see something beautiful in flowers, Luminar Neo is for you because it, it's so intuitive with the design that you could just use one or two of the tools to bring out the beauty in what you've captured. Now, if you're a professional photographer, you'll see the entire uh, list of tools and you'll be amazed how easy it is. Lightroom users and Photoshop users, it's a plugin. You could use it for that also. So looking at it from this perspective, if you're a Lightroom user, things that you want to accomplish that Lightroom doesn't have, but would take years to master in Photoshop is where Luminar Neo steps in. And if you want to remove power lines, dust spots, one simple click, it's done. So again, if you're a Lightroom user, Photoshop user, use it as a plugin for a photo enthusiast, try it and embrace it, you'll love it. All the photo editing applications out there are a little bit different. So how is Luminar Neo different compared to the rest of the editing applications on the market? So how is Luminar Neo uh, different from other programs? It's real simple. It's intuitive design makes it real easy for anyone to be creative. At Skylum, our goal is to you to unleash your inner artist. So you photo as if you would, how you imagined it. So when you're out taking pictures, you take that photo, not what you see, but what you imagined it to be. Now Luminar Neo comes in and the easy editing tools gives you a pro-like editing at your fingertips. A great example could be the mood tool. You know, just that one little slider automatically adds a nice, nice soft, dreamy look to your image along with uh, glowing effects. So instead of you having to apply seven or eight different tools to get that one look, the engineers designed it to where it's in one slider. So once again, what makes it a little bit different using AI technology, and the ability for you to be creative is what makes Luminar Neo different. The next question I wanted to ask is what are the best educational resources and ways to improve your photo editing skills in Luminar Neo? So Luminar Neo has a vast amount of educational resources, not just from our own company, but from a lot of our affiliates. Now for our own company, we have Luminar Coffee Break, which during COVID, we ran five episodes a week. Now we cut that down to two episodes, but there's over 800 videos, not just on how to use Luminar Neo, but how to become a better photographer and how to use the concepts and philosophies that we teach in photo editing. We have a lot of affiliates, such as Clever Photographer, Jim Nix, and a few of the others that have an enormous amount of resources available for you. Now, what's really cool, inside Luminar Neo, if you want to know what a tool does, just click on the information icon, and it'll give you a quick um, overview of what that tool does. And if you want more information, click on it, and it takes you to the website, to our user manual, where you can actually see videos and an expanding version of what that particular tool does. So when it comes to education, it's amazing that Luminar is extremely dedicated to make sure that you become incredible, not just to photo editing, but as photographers. For the last two questions, I want it to be a little bit more personal. My first question there was, what is the one thing or the one tool Vanelli would want to change or adjust or add into Luminar Neo? All right, well, you asked what? Would I want to change what Luminar Neo? Technically, there are two little things I really wish we could work on as soon as possible, which I know the developers are working on it now. One would be for layers, the others with presets. As for layers, as of right now, we can create layers, move layers around, and do some really cool things with layers. 
what we had before, the ability was to stamp or merge the layers together. And the cool thing about that is you take all of the tools that you've created in this one layer and same thing on the top one, merge them together. And now all of those tools you created are merged into one. The only problem with that is that is destructive, meaning I can't go back and change it. But if I do that intentionally, there's a reason for it. So that's one thing I really wish we'd work on. The other, of course, would be for our presets. Our presets are absolutely amazing. The one issue I have sometimes is I'll apply a preset. It looks awesome. Make a few changes and then think, hey, what if I try to differ preset? The moment you do that, all the changes you made, this preset will overwrite them. And that was by design. So this way you can see exactly what that new preset is doing to the image. I don't have a solution for that one. The engineers, their wisdom, I'm sure they'll figure something out. But that's that's something that's on my wish list. The layers, that's something that you actually see happening not too far off from now. The generative AI tools are slowly appearing in Luminar Neo. So, of course, my final question to Vanelli was about what does he think about generative AI tools in photography? So, what are the advantages of having generative AI and having them inside Luminar Neo? That's a real touchy situation. That you have half of the people for it, other the half are against it. I'll give you a great example. We're here in Scotland, and my buddy Jacob here took us through some amazing shoots of the castle and just some of the scenery. It's breathtaking. What if I don't get here again? And there's a spot in this one image I have that I wish. Oh, man, I really wished I gave it more headroom. Well, that's where Generator Fill comes in. And with Generator Fill, I can add a little extra up on top. Now, is it going too far to where, let's say, uh, within that castle looks absolutely gorgeous, then I have Jacob, me, Mark, Jim Nix, Hobby San, Scott Kelby, all these people in kilts walking up and down. It would look cool. It'd be funny, but did it happen? No. So that's an augmented reality. And that's where, if we can learn to draw the line and understand the difference between augmented reality and art and realism, then we're fine with that. So my attitude on all of this is how it's going to help us is it's going to let us become more creative. And like I said, that first example, I really wish I had more headroom. The purest photographer would say, well, you should have taken it that way. Well, I didn't, so therefore I shouldn't be penalized if I can't go back to it. I'll learn my lesson, next time fix it. And then the second one, yeah, I think it's comical. I would love a photo like that. I would put that up on my wall, seeing my friends in kilts near a castle. It'd be hilarious. Now, if I try to pass it off as something real, now we have an issue. So here's the deal with that generative fill and AI. It's up to us as photographers to use it wisely. And there you have it. This is the end of our little interview from Scotland. Now, if you want to find out more about Vanelli, then follow one of the links in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed it, then like and comment. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our future content. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.